We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's part. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. Hanging out with Valentine. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Who's our client? A fisherman whose family lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but... I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. So is the fedora and trench coat mandatory when solving these cases? Cause I'm thinking smoking pipe and British accent. Hey, whatever floats your boat, gumshoe. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start. Miss Perkins. Be careful when you head over to the Nakano residence. That whole area is pretty isolated. I wonder what the story is between Mr. Nakano and Nick. Ellie. Mr. Nakano seemed like a good sort, trying to make the best of things in a tough world. <laughs> Remind you of anyone? Good luck with the case. Hey. What's the plan? Something to get off your chest? Your thoughts? We should head over to the Nakano residence when we can. Find out what their case is about. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Someone has her. They could be raiders, or gunners, or God knows what else.
I uh, hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick, thank God. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You brought a partner? Good. The more eyes, the better. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended sour. We got out. That's all that mattered. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. Yep, that's me. Lowly partner. I don't even get real business cards. Uh, right. Getting back to my daughter. It all started with this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I... think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Hey. Anything I can help with? Your thoughts? See if you can find any of Kasumi's personal effects. Anything to give us a clue to where she went. Nothing else for now. Well, all right. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Tell me about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company and Kenji can be... overprotective. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. I'd shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away. He was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife said she left on her own, but... You said it was kidnappers? I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Rei. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her. 
got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Anything more you could tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Project log, radio. Correction, working radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. So Kasumi was spending time in her grandfather's old boathouse? Huh. Sounds like we know where we're heading next. A hidden key, huh? Good work. Just gotta find whatever it unlocks. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. So the daughter takes off by boat, but more importantly, there's a colony of synths up near this far harbor. 
We need a way to get there. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the waters better than anyone. Hey. Are you all right? You need something? Your thoughts? Let's tell Mr. and Mrs. Nakano what we found out. Excuse me, Mr. Nakano. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor? She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait! Did you find out why she left, Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter's... human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes. I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father. And it's built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. A magic boat ride? Will there be sea monsters? Uh, while I know the seas aren't exactly safe, I am confident that boat can get you there unharmed. At least I hope. I know you haven't asked for payment, and we can't offer much, but here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. I know my partner here can be a little glib, but we won't rest until we get to the bottom of this. You two have my word. Hey there. You're the professor, yeah? I've been looking for you. Name's Boxer. Boss called me in on account of some rumors making their way through the Commonwealth. There's word that there's some kind of colony of synths way up the coast, all on their own. You heard anything like that? The railroad has connections up the coast? No, not really. I mean, we give synths a head start out of the Commonwealth, but whatever this is, it isn't us. So come on, spill it. What do you know? Yeah, there's a girl named Kasumi Nakano. She disappeared up north. Sounds like she heard the same stories and thinks she's a synth. The name doesn't ring a bell. If she is a synth, doesn't sound like we ever helped her. But I guess those stories really are getting around, huh? I'm gonna keep my ear to the ground. You do the same. If you get anything concrete, let me know, okay? Hey there. Hey there. Good to see you again. Hey there. Good to see you again. I have a situation I need to report. Proceed. Have you heard anything about a town up north called Far Harbor? North beyond the Commonwealth? No. Operations have been kept to this area. Why? 
I have reason to believe a synth calling herself Kasumi has fled the Commonwealth to the north. We're all aware of the problem with synths malfunctioning. This wouldn't be the first one that's fled the Commonwealth. Is there more? There's evidence that someone may be amassing a group of synths up the coast. If that's true, it has the potential to represent a significant threat. We need confirmation, not rumors or hearsay. Can I trust that you'll follow up on this and report your findings directly to me? How do you suggest I proceed? Investigate these rumors. Travel north if necessary. Bring me something actionable, and I assure you the Brotherhood will deal with it. I need to talk to someone about a situation up north. Pleasure to meet you. William Mosley, Advanced Systems. I'm happy to help in whatever capacity I can. I hope I don't disappoint. What's your story, William? Me? Oh, uh, I've been acting as a sort of uh, liaison between Advanced Systems and the SRB for a few years now. Doctors Lee and Ao didn't really get along, as I'm sure you can imagine. It worked better if someone could sort of bridge the gap. Anyway, I'm just here, trying to do my part. Is the SRB running some kind of sting operation? Something out of a place called Far Harbor? What? No, I've never heard of that. I'm tracking a woman named Kasumi, who believes she's a synth. Kasumi? Not one of ours, clearly. Perhaps a defective unit who's been reprogrammed by someone? There are rumors of some kind of synth colony up north. Well, this is the first I've heard of it. That would be an unfortunate development, if it's true, I mean. I found a holotape. Someone's encouraging synths to flee up the coast to the north. There have been a few units that have been particularly difficult to track down. If they're leaving the Commonwealth entirely, that would explain it. If you're already actively working on this, would you mind following up on it? I'd be interested to hear if anything turns up. Mm hmm. Hate to burst your bubble, pal, but I'm already disappointed. Oh. Oh dear. Okay, well, I'll try harder. I'll work on it. <laughs>